feels great to to have finally convinced myself to step out and do this frontman thing on my own. My first ARC show in fall of 2015 uh, was largely a, a bluegrass show. It was also my, uh, my master's recital, so I did a, a wide range of things at that show, uh, from free improv to some solo guitar work to uh, a bluegrass band, sort of a Sam Bush band, new grass band format. Um, but this is different in that the band is structured around a string section. I've always had a love for string writing. So the Roots Music Strings is largely an effort to, uh, to do more string writing uh, with music and musicians that I really love dearly. And everybody on this gig, actually, it's, it's more about the people that they are than it is the musicians. Of course, everyone's an incredible musician, but I, I was casting people, not players. You know, I, I told everybody that I want them to be who they are at, at this gig because who they are is what matters most to me. My upbringing in music was perhaps different than, than some in that I, I got a pretty uh, wide range of music put in front of me at an early age. I, in Celine, we, we were exposed to fiddle music and classical music at the same time, and so I sort of fell in love with both. My passion became what people call alternative styles, you know, uh, bluegrass and old time and, and some jazz. Um, but ultimately that led me to the music school here where um, I sort of existed in this world between classical strings and the jazz department. I became passionate about trying to find ways to bridge that gap and ways to bring together, say, a folk band and a classical string ensemble. And that's a big part of what this project is all about. Checking out of that holy hotel. I've always loved the role of being a sideman. The supporting role is very comfortable for me. I, I, I love nothing more than getting inside of a song of somebody's, like Josh Davis or, or May, and, and trying to find ways to lift it up and, and, and bring more more to the table if I can um, but the truth is when I'm playing a sideman gig I'm looking at the front man or, or woman and thinking ah, that's what I really want to be doing um, and what has held me back over the years has been that I'm not a songwriter and so I've almost not felt worthy because of that but what I am is a string arranger and I do sing I play guitar and so I thought well why, why don't I just do those things? Why don't I just write string arrangements for my favorite songs by my favorite people and put them out there? Goes down and that darkness falls, just know it all got lived. And I loved it all. Years ago, I played in a, an ensemble in Ann Arbor called the Lee Daniels Ensemble. And that was a similar situation, actually. Um, it was a string quartet with a jazz jazz band, jazz rhythm section around us. And uh, two of the players from that group are, are in this band, uh, Katri on cello and Leslie on viola. So that's where I met the two of them, and it only seemed perfectly natural to bring them on board. Alicia is just a monstrous musician. Her sound is so amazing, and I've always been blown away by her violin playing, but also just her personality. Jesse Mason and Mike Shimon, we've been through everything together. Uh, we were in Millish together for 10 years plus. Uh, we uh, spent our summers for years driving around in a van together from various 
you know, tiny concert venues in the middle of nowhere to play for nobody to giant Celtic festivals all across the Midwest and around the world. So those guys are like brothers to me. And to have them on this gig, it means a lot. You know, it feels, feels like home to have them back there in the rhythm section. I met Andy in grad school. We both entered the master's program in the jazz department here at Michigan together at the same time. And we just sort of hit it off right away. We were in all the classes together, and and uh, and I, I love his playing. He he plays this little ukulele bass sometimes that really is a lot of fun. And uh, he's an upright player. He's a great composer. Plays five string electric. He kind of does it all. And he's the guy I needed for this show for sure. So this show runs a pretty pretty broad spectrum of emotional content. Uh, there's some pretty dark, heavy stuff in here but we're also going to have a lot of fun there's old-time fiddling and some pop music and some some long tales of bus rides from missouri to chicago and kind of everything in between so i hope you come out and check it out thanks guys Thank you.